So, with the release of Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail, during the media tour... Ah, blah, blah, let, me, let, me, let me try that again. Before the release of Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail, we had the media tour, right? And we were showcased the first dungeon, and what I understand of the first dungeon is that it seemed like the DPS did it just fine. Now I've had conversations on the topic, as I do not know as much 14 as many other people that come out here, right? But the effectively what happened was a lot of healers got upset they got really butt hurt and they started you know a healer strike they're like look if you can do the first dungeon by yourself you know why do you need us you know we we have all these dps classes that are you know have these things to get their health back we have you know tanks that are able to just solo content right and you know we as healers we've had enough if you want you go through dawn trails whatever you want but you need to swap off healer and we need to you know <laughs> get to the point where uh, uh, we, we will be respected and our demands will be met. So, fast forward to, in actuality, in practice, what ended up happening, the healer strike has effectively accomplished nothing. And it's really funny to have watched and a number of people that I've talked to, mod team people on my server, stuff like that. I mean, they look at it and they go, I mean, it's not even doing anything. And thus we lead into this. We lead into a wait time where tanking, my preferred role, tanking is the one that's in demand now it's kind of had this interesting knock-on effect of like well there's no healers in the game so people should play healer and you know what even after the healer strike i have picked up white mage i have done the mount golg shadowbringers poll multiple times at this point just fine as white mage and it's interesting because i have been able to twice ever i think as a tank, do the Mount Gold pull because my healer couldn't handle the pull, right? It's a big pull, okay? Those that have played Shadowbringers, those that know what the Mount Gold uh, Gold Death pull is, you'll know exactly what pull that is, right? And it's just interesting because a lot of people are swapping over to healers, so it's actually kind of having the adverse effect where you have a group of players that are playing a specific role and they feel that they're underappreciated, and I can empathize with that. And they're just saying, well, we're going to hold uh, Q's hostage or we're going to do this. There's going to be less healers. You're going to be looking for healers and begging us by the end of this. Meanwhile, people like me say, F it, I'll do the healing, and it ended up healing better than a lot, of, a lot of healers I've ran into in roulettes. So it's really interesting to consider. And, I mean, that gets into the subject of, like, well, what's reasonable and what's not, okay? I, as a tank, in synced content, okay, dead ends, level 90, I have had to solo the, 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 the mech boss. I, have, I don't think I can solo the first one because I think they're because uh, the uh, Isuna, even if I avoid all the bubbles, there's an attack he does. I, I That one's the, I have to work a little bit towards. I have synced the second boss from 70% down. I have synced the final boss, Rala, from 70% down. And I can do it. It takes me like 20 minutes. And I'm like XQC like, gamer clip meme doing it, but it's possible. I don't, and so then you run into, well, is that necessarily fair? Is that even is that even a reportable offense? You could argue that, you know, if you're taking 20 minutes to solo content on one hand, one, get good moment, team watch the fight, learn the fight. But on the other hand, your team could theoretically even report you because you're slow playing, right? Hey, just wipe, let's, let's do this again. And I think it's a fine balance. It's really interesting to consider that along with the healer strike. I mean, it, it, Dawn Trail hits hard, okay? That first dungeon, that first boss, I had to solo from 6%. I barely did it. I eked by with very little health. They hit hard, and I like it. I've actually really liked the Dawn Trail tank changes because I have to actually hit buttons, okay? I mean, we're talking as Gunbreaker. I'm popping, like, Heart of Corundum, and I'm popping Camouflage, or I'm popping Reprisal and Rampart, right? I, and then I'm using my, uh, when I'm not using my AoE, I'm using my 1-2 to get my health up. When I'm playing my choice class Paladin, right, I'm making sure to pop Clemency and weave it in where I can. I'm making sure that I have Sheltron up. I'm making sure that I'm, once again, hitting buttons. The tank, ner the tank changes feel like you just have to pay attention more, and that's what the aggro changes as well. That's why when you're hitting something during a pull, they're starting to break off easier, because I hear there were aggro changes, and thank you, Tamsin, for telling me about that. At the end of the day, it's, your tank just has to pay attention more. It's a good role. And I think a lot of people are scared of it. Like, I think the healers thought, the healers that engaged in the healer strike, like, I think they thought that people were going to be scared of healing. If Take it from an, a dingus, okay? Find what healer you want to play. For me, it's white mage, right? I can do sage to a degree, but the recovery on it's pretty rough. Um, scholar, eh. Astro, Astro feels like it's balanced for late Stormblood, nothing else. But pick a healer you want and just go for it. 
understand how to heal understand that realistically you should oh you should really only ever be focused on damage right yes you need to be popping your regions yes you need to be popping your medica 2 to keep regen up yes you need to be making sure that if your tank is doing a big pull you swap off of damage to heal and once they're in a good spot then you start especially as white mates and you start using your flare stunning everything around it it's like five to six seven if you get greedy um amount of stuns you can get off uh it, it turns into an interesting rotation but it's interesting to just see how going into Dawn Trail, we've had so many pissed off healers, we've had a healer strike, and we've had people that are just upset with the state of the game only effectively to just get egg on their face. Because now my role, Tank, is the one that's in demand. <laughs> so I guess realistically, I guess I should be thanking the healer strike. I guess I should be thanking those healers that said, nah, we're not doing this anymore. Because not only has it made my Qs faster as both healer and tank, but my buddy as well. He's just like, nah, this is amazing, dude. My Qs are instant. Like, the healer strike is amazing. So just things to think about, not only in terms of 14, but life as well. What can we learn from this experience? What can we learn from this healer strike? That if something pisses you off, yeah, you have every right to be pissed off at it. You have every right to not engage in the media. However, you also have to be cognizant that people will just fill that vacuum. People will learn. People will become better than you. People will find other ways to fill their time even, right? So if I'm uh, if I'm not playing Destiny anymore, right, someone else is going to come and some other content creator is going to come and start teaching raids and do stuff a lot better than I can. And that's perfectly fine. <laughs> It's just really interesting. The The big thing about the media tour, and I understand this is the thing about all the media tours, is that uh, it's kind of a sample. It's not as difficult as the actual end product. So if that is even remotely true, it's really interesting to see how this has affected uh, our perception of the healer strike. And even then, you might not have even known a healer strike that was going on uh, for Dawn Trail. And you know what? <laughs> Yeah, because it hasn't really done anything but make my cues better. Thank you, everybody. Let me know what server you play on. See you in the next one.